Hi, this is Andrew. We're going to talk a little bit about the types of guitars you can buy and what types of guitars you should be looking for when you're choosing one for your child or for your student. There's three basic types of guitar. There's the nylon acoustic, the steel string acoustic and the electric. The first one we're going to take a look at is the nylon acoustic. This is a full-size nylon acoustic. It's got three plastic strings. The advantage of this guitar is that those plastic strings are a little bit more gentle on young fingers, particularly their fingertips. Very good. These are relatively inexpensive guitars for the most part. You can get them for around $100. Really good beginner guitars. Okay, the next one we're going to have a look at is the steel string acoustic. Now, steel string acoustics, beautiful guitars, however, for beginners, it's a little bit more difficult. Reason being, they've got these steel strings which tend to cut into the fingertips of the player. So, for beginner guitarists, if you're going to choose between a nylon acoustic and a steel string acoustic, you're probably better off going with the nylon acoustic. Okay, the next type of guitar we're going to have a look at is the electric guitar. Alright, chances are that your child or student is going to ask you for an electric guitar straight off the bat. There are advantages to this and also disadvantages. Uh, one of the obvious advantages, of course, is that it sounds really cool. And loud. Kids really like that. Um, some of the major advantages of it, though, is that the neck is often smaller than the neck on a nylon acoustic, which makes it easier for the child to wrap their hand around, which is a real advantage. One of the disadvantages, of course, is that it's got steel strings. They will cut more into the fingertips of the kid. Expense-wise, you're looking between $200 to $400 for the guitar. You might find a package where you can get an amplifier, smaller than this one, a guitar, lead, strap, pick and tuner. They tend to go for around $400, and they're a really good option as well. Next thing we're going to talk about is the size of the guitar. Before, I showed you a full size acoustic. I'm going to show you some other sizes now. This is a half size nylon acoustic guitar. This is excellent for players sort of between the ages of 8 and 11. The hand size of those uh, age kids tends to be more suited to this guitar. Um, for really young kids, we can go with a half size guitar. They still sound good, but it's easier for kids to get their hands around the necks. So how will you check, or how will you find out, which size guitar you should buy for your kid? One way to do it is to get their forefinger and their thumb, wrap it around the neck, and if they can put the two together, that guitar is okay. If they can't touch their forefinger and their thumb together, the guitar is probably a little bit too big for them. Lastly, we need to talk about picks. Picks is really the major accessory that you need. Um, this is a thin pick, it's very flexible, and this is a thick pick, it's more rigid. Basically, it's up to the child to choose which one they want. Some find it easier for to use hard picks, some find it easier to use thin picks, but for really young kids, tends to be the case the thin picks are better because they offer less resistance to the strings. It's a lot easier just to play notes and strum. Alright, well I hope that's been helpful.